What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with an FNGR uh, technical thread of analysis, you guys. Before we continue, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with a friend so that you and them can consider joining our training community, RCAB, on Discord. With that said, let's dive right in, you guys. So, uh, I know I've gotten a couple requests regarding uh, FNGR, and uh, I, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to get to it just yet, you guys. The list is kind of long, and it, is, and it is growing based on requests. So, I have started the analysis. I have not continued it yet, but I will share what I'm looking at thus far. So, uh, we have broken out of this massive descending channel, you guys, and we did come back and test the resistance, the newly converted resistance uh, as support and have since continued on to the upside. Um, the reason why I have several Fibonacci retracements right here, you guys, is because I wanted to see if the trade or if the asset is following market geometry and it it. it actually shows that it is for example this fib right here shows that price action ended up right at the two spot 618 golden ratio you guys price action uh right over here on this fib shows that we used the resistance of the channel alongside an early take profit of the one spot 618 golden ratio and also uh right here you guys we are currently facing facing uh opening and closing candles and wick highs right at the inverse uh not 618 golden ratio you guys so i definitely see markets the market structure following geometry also the fact that we do have uh some formations uh that that it is honoring you guys so let's go ahead and move on to the next chart to see what we have you guys so this is now looking at it uh, i actually took the measurements right here you guys in a regular chart i did not use log or the logarithmic chart so uh now I, I usually use logarithmic because i feel like it's a little more accurate so now i did uh make now a macro perspective of fngr within uh the logarithmic chart you guys and we can see that this definitely uh followed what we always talk about the golden rule of three we have a uh, test one two and three followed by the large capitulation event before an actual attempt at breakout on test number four sorry about that you guys if you heard that um, I, I actually bumped into the mic <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> we actually did uh, make that breakout on number four, and it also looks like we did come back and tested that newly converted resistance into support before a continuation onto the upside using the three day uh, t the the three day ten period simple moving average. This is the SMA ten, you guys. And uh, <clears throat> since we did reach this uh, this level, you guys, we have been using the 200 day simple moving average as a form of support. Now, the fact that we are above the SMA 200 is a good sign in the macro in a macro perspective. You guys, usually when we're above the SMA 200 in a larger time frame, it usually means bullish action. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the next chart and see what we have. OK, you guys. So <clears throat> this is what I mean by incomplete analysis. All these these iterations that I've noticed is based on volatility reaching uh, what I consider to be critical expansion zones, which is usually above the 90 percentile, you guys. So I want to be able to take uh, the iterations based on every single time we've started a contraction phase to the downside. Um, uh, uh, you know, through, throughout the history of, of trading the FNGR asset, which could be all the way to 2015, April, you guys. So uh, another bullish thing that we can look at on technicals, you guys, is that we have since printed uh, what could be a pennant. And this is after an upside, you guys, and this is usually a bullish, uh, usually a bullish sign. And now the pennant also has a downside price objective for us to review, usually taken from the top of the triangle to the lowest point of the triangle. Uh, and we can apply this to a point of breakout. Usually triangles like this tend to realize at about 70, 75% to the apex, which is around this area right here, you guys. So let's just take that and uh, see what, see where, where it puts us. So it is suggesting for us to come at the candle closure of this candle right over here, you guys, which would also imply a closure of this gap that we have over here, which has... Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of rhyming within within this downside target as well, you guys. But uh, likely to the uh, I'm sorry, inversely to the upside, if we were to you know move on to the upside, I can see that we would actually make a potential higher high, and that higher high in a macro perspective could be in a, in accordance to this. Uh, yep. <laughs> 
tell me that doesn't land too perfect, you guys. <laughs> so we have this touch right here, this touch right here, and also this would be uh, the next touch. Please don't tell me that that's uh, in that's a, a golden ratio of sorts. Let's take it from the top of the trend and see what that takes us to the low of uh, the swing low. And what do you know? So we do, <laughs> man. Okay, so let me actually just get this a little closer so you guys can see what I'm looking at, right? So this is going to be the bottom of the trend, and you can see that the upside move is is very much in accordance with the three spot 618 golden ratio just as i was warning right now there's a lot of rhyming there's actually more rhyming to the upside than there is to the downside you guys however uh volatility is new is direction neutral so we have to pair it with an, with a momentum indicator like this is similar to an rsi for us to be able to gauge that bias and direction right now that bias and direction is towards the downside in the daily uh chart you guys so uh, I've noticed that the I've actually calculated based on different tickers. I get an average of 75 to 90 percent accuracy from the uh, momentum oscillator guesses in direction. So uh, I would definitely give it some weight. And this is in accordance to us testing the uh, the the triangle bottom eventually right you guys so what i what i can say is that this candle print right here at the bottom of a downtrend is a bullish candle so uh there's a long wick uh below the body which is which is very i mean this tells us that there could be a potential uh upside coming in but this is still suggesting downside you guys so let's go ahead and move on to the next chart and see what we got so this is the daily rsi and now we're looking at one two three four primary drives of bearish divergence you guys and it looks like it has since started so this is these these uh daily rsi reads of bearish divergence are in accordance to what we're talking about of potentially going back to test and confirm our pennant with a second touch of the of the support we need a second touch and still of the support and we still need a second touch of the resistance in order for us to validate that we're within this formation in the first place right so yeah you guys uh, i think uh, i think uh, things are looking okay for for fngr for the for the time being now <clears throat> let's look at a multi pane uh, real fast here you guys and see what we have as far as direction in the immediate short term time frame so let's maximize this one as well uh let's look at the 30 minute immediate short term uh it's showing us that we do have some upside uh we are moving above the moving i'm sorry we're trading above the moving average which is uh bullish for the immediate short term this is going to be the buy hourly rsi buy hourly is suggesting some upside as well you guys and we have since crossed above the uh moving average uh okay let's go to the six hour and see what there is there six hour is also suggesting uh continuation onto the upside it is however short-lived since the moving average is right up here we can actually use this as a moving average reg uh, regression rejection type thing you guys so let's go ahead and move on to uh the let, yeah let's let's use the no let's use the 12 hour since we already saw the daily uh okay so this is uh this is looking a little a little bearish since it is in the in the this the bottom half is the uh, the bottom half of the rsi is the bearish control zone and the upper half is the bullish control zone you guys so we have uh, we have entered the bearish control zone but however it is in the shallow areas of it so we can be gravitated towards the upside one more time and these uh this upside is 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 very short lived you guys so there is the potential to where we can do uh a, let's go ahead and take another fib for the short term right here so we'll take it from the previous day high to the today to today's low so there is a potential to where we can actually look at two targets you guys the two the one spot 272 at 149 uh, could be one followed by the one spot 618 golden ratio at 792 could be another range for us to continue on to the downside we have to make sure that we are looking at the higher low structure that we're creating here you guys so there is the potential to where we can do that um, however if you can see right over here this is a lower high and followed by a higher high so there we could also be seeing the two spot 272 or or the, the second test of of the uh of the uh, resistance which just so happens to land right at the two spot 618 golden uh golden mean and this is all potentially solidified tomorrow so uh 
uh, followed by followed by a continuation onto the downside in which this could be a larger downside move if we do come up to the two spot six one eight you guys so uh if you guys are already in and you're in around this area uh there could be for sure term short term plays right i'm not a financial advisor please take whatever i do say within this video as a form of entertainment do your own dd and we'll be okay right you guys so we can see a potential take profit uh zone of between the range of 749 and 792 and uh, a potential full take profit at two spot 618 which would be in confluence with the resistance of the pennant and that is 918 to about 935 you guys so definitely two ranges for uh, potential take profits. Anyway, I think this is a good place for me to leave off the video, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will leave the links in the description below if you wanna if you wanna join the RCAP trading community, you guys. Visit me on Twitter. Say hi. Let's talk about this analysis. Anyway, uh, that'll do it for the video, and I will catch you at the Bell Manana. Adios.